It's the Chinese New Year soon, so I thought I'd show you how to make Chinese turnip cake that's vegan. So first you'll need one Chinese radish or lobok, a large carrot, a large spring onion, a small onion, three garlic, about 50 grams of seitan, and five shiitake mushrooms that have hydrated in hot water for an hour. So dice your carrots and chop the onion and the spring onion and mince the garlic and also finely dice the shiitake mushrooms and mince the seitan and I used a food processor to do that. Now with the radish you want to finely grate it and I used a food processor to grate it too. Then you want to squeeze out the liquid through a strainer over a bowl because you want to save the liquid and let it stand for about 10 minutes. And then use that liquid and add it to the radish in the instant pot and make it up to two cups of liquid. So add water to make up the rest. Then add one and a half tablespoons of sugar and two teaspoons of vegetable stock powder. Then add a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper and give that a good stir and then we're going to saute it. So bring it to the boil on saute and then let it boil for three minutes. If you don't have the lid that's fine, just take a bit longer to get to a boil. Then remove it from the heat and let it cool. Now with the other vegetables, heat a tablespoon of high heat oil in a wok or frying pan and saute the garlic for about 30 seconds. Then you'll want to add the minced seitan with a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of garlic powder and saute that for one or two minutes and then remove it from the wok. Then you'll want to heat another tablespoon of oil in the wok and saute the onions and carrots for about two minutes on high heat. Then add the spring onion and saute that for one minute. Then add half a teaspoon of soy sauce, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and the chopped shiitake mushrooms and saute that for one to two minutes. Return the seitan to the pan and again saute it for one to two minutes together. Then remove the mixture from the heat. Now in a bowl you'll want one cup of rice flour and two thirds of a cup of corn flour. And you'll want to mix that with a cup of water. So you can either whisk it or use a stand mixer to make sure it's well mixed. Then add the vegetable mixture to the batter and the radish mixture and mix all that together very well too and you'll end up with a thick well mixed mixture. Then coat containers with oil and fill the containers with the mixture and smooth the top. Then put a steam rack in your instant pot with one and a half cups of water and put the containers in the instant pot. Close the lid and set it to seal and set it to steam for 45 minutes. And once it's finished steaming, you'll want to leave it on, keep warm for 10 minutes and then release the pressure. After that, you'll have a fairly firm turnip cake, but you'll want to let it cool completely, preferably on a wire rack and then put it in the fridge overnight and the next morning you'll find you've got a nice firm turnip cake or two if you've used two containers so use a spatula to release the cake and then slice it into half inch slices and I also like to slice it down the middle so that I end up with nice squares so once you've got those squares then you want to heat a pan and pan fry the slices in a tablespoon of oil until they're crispy on both sides, so about four minutes on both sides. And then drain on a paper towel and serve. And they're often served with hosing sauce, but I must say they are delicious with sweet chili sauce too. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.
If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more great superfood smoothie recipes.